What's going on you guys? It's Tulo here. Here's some methods that'll change your MLB The Show game for good. I'm a top 10 player in the world. If you've seen my videos, if you see me on Twitch, you probably know that. So I'm going to be telling you guys some ways that I don't use. But listen, if you can, I'm trying to give you guys as many methods as you can. And I know one of these looks like for you guys. So, he, But here's one everyone can use. So what we're going to do is we go to... Um, let's pitch right here, right? We're going to be pitching with, I mean, anyone, Maddox. All right, let's go Maddox. Okay, so one thing that'll change your game right here. Um, let's see, someone who has a sinker, a Glavin right here. All right. And he doesn't even have a sinker, so that's good. Does he have a sinker? Okay, so for example, this is one thing anyone can use. The next one is like if you're in a slump. All right, so right here with the sinker, you know how you go in the pinpoint motion, right? Stop right here and then go that way. You can have more range of motion. And I always done this, but it's a really good way. So you stop here and look at that way better range of motion. You see that? Because when you go all the way up top, you don't have that much range of motion. This is the move right here. Stop here, boom. Look at that. You get way, you don't hang pitches. On pinpoint, you can still hang pitches because you still got to go with the downward motion. This helps so much with kind of leaving it over there. You know what I mean? That's an amazing method that I wanted to tell you guys. And yeah, so right here, we stop here, get it to the corner. Perfect. You know what I mean? That'll change your life. This will change your life right here, honestly. Right here, we'll stop here. Make sure we get it on the corner. And there we go. We keep it out of harm's way. That's what you want to do. Right here, we're going to go sinker inside. Stop up here. Boom. Boom. See what I mean? So that is a huge method that it will help you guys. Like right here, we want to dot up. Stop it. Easy. So that's that'll help you guys enormously. You don't got to go all the way to the top hoop. You can stop. And that's how you're a dot machine, man. I hate to face you guys now because you guys are going to be dotting left and right. But, you know, I got you guys. Like I said, anything I learned, anything I picked up, I'm going to tell you guys. All right. Now, if you... The hitting. Okay. So, I've obviously... You can watch all my hitting tips video. You guys know how I hit, right? I hit like this. Whatever. Low. If you're in a slump, go like this. Leave it middle. And just react. You know what I mean? So leave it middle and just react. Move from there. So make sure your thumb's on the analog stick. Wait it out. Yep, good take. But when it's coming, you just slam your PCI. This is a really good way to kind of get it going. Look at that. I mean, that's this is the thing with this. Is if you hang pitches, it's gone. And you can kind of hit these tough pitches. So I definitely use this approach from time to time. See, look at that. I'm seeing the ball really well because I'm sitting in middle and I'm just going to move it to where it goes. Move it to where it goes. Move it to where it goes. You know what I mean? They're going to leave it middle. And then that's what you kind of want to do. You kind of want to go to it. Go to the ball once it's coming. It's a really good strategy for some of you guys who are slumping. And like one of my boys, um, you guys might know him, Little Uzi Alex. He's a streamer. I was also talking to him about this approach that he's been using and like he said, he said himself, I might not have the best stick skill, but like this helps me a lot because I'm focusing on my baseball IQ, right? And he can kind of, he can kind of just move it to the ball. This is a really good approach. I'm just trying to swing it. Let's see if we can get some strikes in here just to show you guys just for the sake of this. So that's what I kind of want to do is just sit in middle. My thumb's still on the end, like not like I'm leaving it. And then that's you want to you want to move it. Obviously, I don't use this approach. It takes some time to get used to, but it can be very effective. It can be very effective. Right now, I'm on slider, so it's getting I'm getting my PCI stuck a bit, but it's a really good approach. So yeah, you move your PCI to the ball. That's another method. I'm getting you guys right with these methods, man. Just make sure you try all of them out and let me know how it works. Um. Let's try this for, for one second. We're gonna do only on the corners right here. See how this goes. So we're gonna make it only throw dots right here. 
Yeah, and you see what I mean? Like, you just slam it, slam it, slam it, slam it. Just try to get it to the ball. Like I said, I don't use this approach, so it'll take me. If I actually wanted to use this, it'll take me a bit. But yeah, that's the idea of it. Just throw your PC out of the ball. Play on sliders, all that good stuff. It'll definitely change the game for you. It'll change the game. It's huge. Another thing you guys want to do is if you're struggling, is which one is it? It's going to be circles. Is it this one? Nope, it's not Starfighter, guys. It might be an outer right here. Yeah, so if you guys, uh, why is it um, fading out? We don't want it to fade out right here. We don't want that fade out. Uh, no, no. We don't want it to fade out. So this is another way this outer PCI, you can kind of work with it. A lot of top players are starting to use the outer PCI because it gives you that bigger PCI for your eyesight. You know, you kind of like seeing the bigger PCI and it helps out a bit. You can even change up right here. You go, you can go whatever here and then you can change it up. You can go Starfighter and you can go circles right here. Like that, you know what I mean? So it's like a bigger PCI type stuff. This, I don't mind this. If I was using this though, what I would do is I would turn down the PCI to 30. Right here, I turn it down. Cause there's a lot of stuff going on, but I see that big PCI, you know what I mean? It, it's kind of like a bigger, bigger target, you know what I mean? Try to work on it and you get a bigger target. So those are three methods, really good methods to kind of turn your game around you know what i mean i'm trying to think outside of the box that first method like i said will help everyone the second method can also help everyone like i said when i'm in a slump i sit middle and react and the third method is change up your pcis maybe you need a bigger target maybe you need a smaller target just change it up a bit i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you guys think of this hit that sub button hit that like button we're closing in that 5k subs baby i'll see you guys in the next video peace out